Join me as I explore the unique insights low income families have about happiness that high income singles may be missing out on. Do you think money can buy happiness? That's a question that has puzzled many of us for a long time. While some people swear that money is the key to happiness, others believe that it is not about the amount of money you have, but about how you choose to live your life. In today's video, we're diving deep into this debate. When we talk about happiness and income disparity, we often assume that people who earn more money are automatically happier. But is that really the case? Does having a higher income necessarily mean that you're more satisfied with your life? Today, we're exploring what we can learn from low income families about finding happiness despite financial limitations. On one hand, it's easy to believe that having more money means having more freedom and comfort, but research says otherwise. Ready to have your mind blown? It's true that money can provide us with the basic necessities and luxuries that can bring us joy. However, is that enough to guarantee happiness? Research has shown that beyond a certain threshold, additional income does not necessarily lead to greater happiness. This is known as the Easterland Paradox. Many studies have found that once our basic needs are met, further economic growth does not lead to greater happiness. We tend to adapt to our circumstances and eventually the extra money stops bringing us as much joy. So what's the secret to happiness that low income families seem to have discovered? From my research, I found that low income families often have a very different perspective on happiness. They know that happiness is not just about money, but about relationships, community, and a sense of purpose. They understand that happiness is cultivated through gratitude, appreciation, and contentment. And now let's uncover the heartwarming lesson on happiness from those who know how to thrive with less. One of the most striking differences between low income families and high income singles is their sense of community. Low income families often live in a close knit communities, sharing and supporting each other. This sense of connection is powerful source of happiness and fulfillment. In contrast, high-income singles often live isolated lives with fewer close relationships. Low-income families prioritize experiences over material possessions. They appreciate the small things in life like a warm meal or a beautiful sunset or a nice late-night drive, and they express gratitude for what they have. This attitude of gratitude is a powerful source of happiness and it's sometimes we all learn from and it's something we all learn from an inspiring story I came across was about a single mother in a low-income neighborhood despite her financial struggles she found happiness in simple joys like cooking for her neighbors or watching her children play she knew that happiness wasn't about money but about love and community so what can we learn from low income families about finding happiness despite financial limitations? Appreciate the small things, focus on what you have, cultivate gratitude, prioritize experiences and build strong relationships. These are the keys to true happiness. And sometimes those strong relationships can also help you to build that wealth or that money and those connections can help you in those aspects of life as well if that's something you're looking for thanks for watching if you have any thoughts on happiness and income share them in the comments below don't forget to like share and subscribe for more insights on happiness and well-being see you in the next video see me too bro peace